Hello, Cancers. This is your message from Oracle and your guides as well as an advice. It's a general message. Be mindful that there are some messages that will apply to you and others won't. Don't force the energy or the messages, right? Also, if you do like the content, you would like to check out my page and become part of the community like a family that it feels already like. I welcome you again. Many love and blessings to you. Let's begin Scorpio. Sun, moon, rise in Venus. Scorpio for you, it's saying working on your passion, persistence, and purpose is very important in this moment. I don't know if it has to do with your purpose of achieving a better health in terms of a better job, your skills, acquiring other different things, um, projects and plans, but to stay focused in that aspect is going to be very, something that's coming up for you recently. Now, let's go with uh, three words of advice for you, or words of advice, because sometimes they just don't come out as three. So let's just come up for you with the words of advice, the magical words for you. Two wanted to come out, although I didn't want to pull them out, but this is so beautiful. It's very much connected to the other. It's a very water, water, no, uh, intu intuitive, very intuition. -y. The number two, blue barrel, creativity, energy, and calmness. And also the 10 of diamonds as well, which is bloodstone. It's courage, vitality, and energizing. There is two words that is very connecting to, and it's energy, energetic, energizing, calming, courage, creativity. Yeah. It's very important. Spirit, wanting you to know this, because I always pull just one card, but this really came up like very stuck to your energy. This is very interesting. What is your present energy in this moment? Present energy and advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So I do have the car number 19. There are some obstacles, some things that you want to probably just uh, understand that it's going to be over soon. <clears throat> For another group of you, is something that has to do with connecting with others. I don't know if it's misunderstandings or probably even just finding it difficult to just to like connect or feel connected to this special someone who is not understanding your needs in terms of um, communicating. I don't know if it's the specific words or is that they don't understand or different language barriers, something like that. Yeah, you probably feel some restrictions and boundaries around uh, certain people, you know? Isolation is not good, um, Scorpios, and it's very... This is like... Uh, this is the card of just like the tower. There is light. There is far away a light in the horizon. You have to be mindful of that. In the meantime, there will be certain things that uh, will crumble down. It will be destroyed. It will be abrupt. It has to do with, I don't want to just start, uh, I want to clarify, but it could be abrupt news. It could be also an idea of someone that you thought they were this way, but they're not, or an institution, a corporation, a job, a something big, something big, you know, a big name, a brand where you work, where you bought something, you, you had this idea, someone even, with a high position and it's just like okay something is just collapsing is not working because their foundation it was just not even a strong foundation so i do sense here this situation for you guys abrupt changes yes abrupt changes and also um it is i don't i don't want to say accidents but i mean Careful with minor accidents. What is the tower trying to tell Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is the tower trying to tell Scorpios? Stray guys, ancestors, allow us to understand what is the tower trying to tell Scorpios. This one want to come out. Yeah. So it's definitely, yes, this tower has to take 
place in order to start new beginnings. The new beginning is right there. You just have to allow. Don't be afraid. It's going to be fine. Um, situations are going to uncover. You know, it's like something hitting is going to come out. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be surprised. You are not expecting that this person was like this or this company, like I say again, or something that you had an idea, right? That it was like that. It's not. Um, and it's just going to be better. It's going to like illuminate. It's going to actually make you feel that you are acquiring this freedom, free of judgment, free of anything that you thought that it was holding you back. It could also be with other people assuming that you had to do, you are breaking free from other people's critical thoughts and rumors and comments. It's like, there's no, if, if they don't have any foundation, what, why, why continue in doing the same thing and following this folks, you're going to say, when I have my own way, I have to build my own life. This is my own path. I'm only going to live my own life. If I direct it on my own self, you're going to break patterns, break the, anything that has to do with, um, assumptions or people trying to dictate you. I do sense it's a liberating aspect someone from afar checking up on you or thinking about you or even wanting to know about you they are hidden they are hidden yes it could be a what what a water sign cancer scorpio pisces or someone wanting to go incognito checking you out in social media what you post in your status in your whatsapp you know in your instagram where is it that you're checking in they want to know they have um this thoughts about you they have a nostalgia aspect nostalgic memories and they are full of passion and desire new opportunities and creativity heading your way it's coming towards you it's coming towards you, a uh, proposal, it probably even has to do with collaborating, but it has to do a strong with a, a strong energy with a, a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but it's a very strong fire, passionate, a little bit aggressive, and at times it could be a little, something has to do with kinky, but like, no, it's not for everyone, but again, it's a, it's a great opportunity for starting a new phase in your life, a new stage in your life where you are going to be you. Yeah. I do sense that there is a, someone that likes makeup or costumes or a lot of glittery stuff coming out as a new person and as, as a new personality, uh, media. I also sense, um, TV or working in terms of a theater costumes. It's not for everyone, but whoever, is connected to it's like it's it's very strong the arts the arts the mask the makeup beautiful glittery shoes or even um dresses dressing in terms of love for singles scorpio scorpio singles Reconciliation, you probably, we, uh, well, we're actually talking about singles. You were or talking to someone or you just stopped talking to someone, but it's coming back. They're coming back. Or you want to reach out to this person as a special someone. It's someone that you bond and connect with. There's a lot of nurturing and a lot of uh, nice words and romanticism. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Yes, it is. And um, let's check. An old flame, someone that is is there, and never got to really, you know, do something serious in terms of this connection in the past, but now they're willing to come back and reach out to you. Express your love if you are in a romantic connection in marriage or long-term relationship. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It is advising you. And for uh, general, in terms of love, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is just as an advice. Now let's clarify the reconciliation for singles. Reconciliation for singles. Who's coming to reconcile? 
It says here that it could possibly be an empress, which is a Taurus, a Libra, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, she's very independent. Female energy doesn't have to be, but very independent and uh, very sensual, very, so, you know, she likes to live a good life or he. And uh, I also sense that there might have been in the past like a brief conflict a dispute and argument about certain situations possibly even because this person is too independent and don't don't like to give explanation of things you walked away or probably the other person walked away but now they are wanting to come back because it's an eight so they want to know about you or not just reconcile, but I would say like reach out to you also. Now express your love for those in a romantic connection for a long time or marriage. Express your love. Express your love. Go ahead and express your love. Yeah, you could be with a Sagittarius here, but it's also balance. Balancing and nurturing each other, understanding is a strong connection. It has been for a long time. You are trying to stay focused and you are going to be protected and you're going to acquire this energy of uh, feeling uh, that it's, it's, a, it's a give and take. It's something that it's... It's nice, it's beautiful, it's, you're trying to do both things from both ends, give and take, receive, and also provide and protect, right? Changes are coming again for you, allow those changes to happen, because if you don't, if you don't give this uh, relationship an opportunity, even if, if there was some type of, you know, uh, disconnection or um, not too harmonic uh, uh, weeks in the past days or weeks in this connection it has to move to another stage and it's going to be better more stable now the emperor here which is an Aries an emperor an emperor and uh, someone who knows what they want someone who will protect you and we're, they're going to be there for you. The changes are going to come into a positive outcome for you in terms of your long-term relationship. There is commitment. There is a lot of respect. There is also a lot of guidance. It's a protective energy. Allow things to close, open and close. Circles, close circles of people who don't um, seem to be too positive towards your well-being and your mental health as well. But open up to this connections that advise you, that give you all that support that you need. And of course, in terms of staying with this uh, special someone, they are going to be your protector. I just sense that there's like a very protective energy, you know, very protective energy. That it could be even a difference of age, but it's a very protective energy. They know what they want. They, they are a caretaker. They want to take care of of all the things that you've gone through, but also of your um, mind and your love and your heart. So, Scorpio, this is your message for this moment. I hope you do connect in a certain moment in the video. I send you many blessings to you and all of the luck to you as well. Love and light and namaste.